free for all it's recorded so this should start properly yeah this should be interesting French versus uh, Japanese yeah um, uh, well as far as I remember Tibia is a very good player uh, he's also a little bit rusty unfortunately like a lot of these guys but they're all getting back into form and hopefully especially for the next stages they will be in their formal shape former shape uh, Tibia always has uh, a very good French uh, French style French play style and Barker I'm not sure I know a lot of him I think I've seen him playing Japanese a few times uh, it's an interesting matchup uh, Japanese is very strong civilization uh, can defend very well for example also with the Minutemen card if really need versus rush civilizations versus French it's basically gonna be um, a defense from Japanese and the French can go for either a rush preferably expo pie crush or some kind of fast fortress with musketeers and cannons uh, absolutely into the base. that are basically the two options and I just want to talk about the resource distribution on this map and it's actually yes. not looking too bad um, it, it's actually quite nice I mean usually when we do play on these kind of maps uh, the custom maps uh, they do tend out to be turning out quite nice so it doesn't look like any player will need a restart here yeah, well, the the hunts are definitely uh, definitely fine for both. Um, however, the the mines for the Japanese guy are quite quite on the outsides of his base. Uh, you have to take into account that Japanese can also, of course, put his uh, shrine shrines on gold, so it will affect him less than, for example, a French player. But still, if there is a rush coming in, uh, these mines could be a little bit of a problem. But overall, yeah, it's 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 okay. I mean, the green guy, sure, he could potentially ask for a restart, but at the same time, I don't think he'll do it because uh, his hunt distribution, well, it looks like his bison is actually going towards the side of the map there. Yeah, but Ooh, of course, he's Japanese. He doesn't need that many bison. Eh? He, he only needs to make a wonder, and that's it. He can make shrines all over the map, so the, the hunts are not the most important thing for him. For yeah, that's true, right. So it's not that big of a deal, but although if the, the shrines... You know, you'd rather have the hunts closer than further. But, uh, yeah, yeah, it's not a big issue. Also, yeah, I see where you're going, but it also depends on, on the playstyle. For example, if you are having every shrine near your base, it means that the other guy only has to put pressure on one point. On the other hand, if you have shrines all over the map, preferably that's what you want to do, then they can't take out all the shrines easily, or at least put pressure on them, because they have to be left and right and top and etc. But overall, yeah, I agree, uh, he has uh, the option to put the shrines on gold, so it's not the biggest problem, he can make a little bit of a wall as well. We haven't seen that many walls, fortunately, but on the other hand, if it's needed, you should use a wall to protect your gold mine. Yeah, walls are very good, very cheap, and especially since you can delete the, the, the sides of it, uh, you can save a lot of wood. Yeah, as a quick reminder for you guys, uh, wall pieces are of course five, uh, five a piece. But uh, the side pieces are often not that useful because they take up small uh, small space. The middle pieces are the are taking up the most space. So uh, for a wall, that's the best part to use. And then, like Chicks just mentioned, you can cancel the outsides, and then you get ten wood uh, back per wall segment. Well, part of wall segments. <laughs> uh, anyway, we see uh, the wonder is being put in a very funny place because uh, actually I'm not sure what one is going to be, it can still be the Tory Gates or it can be the Shogunate no, the, the it's been a while since I cast Japanese, it's going to be the big shrine, that's the one I was looking for um, but on the other hand if it's a big shrine then it should be on this side of his town center because then the animals would be able to uh, get to it and then he would have a lot more income than if there would be no animals tasked on it we see the French starting with the market, uh, standard stuff I'm not going to go over it again uh, now he's aging, uh, he's gathering some wood um, depending on how early he put his villagers on wood it's quite 50-50 uh, quite spread out so it can still be an yeah. pie crush yeah, and he's also just got 75 coin that should be able to help his market upgrades there uh, yes, that's indeed a nice one uh, and we see that he indeed ages up with the Tory gates and not with the big shrine so then putting it on this side of his town center is not a problem uh, if you are expecting a rush, it is an option because you get a free rex and you get a lot more XP from everything that's going on, every fight that you take. Uh, so that means more shipments and there's more army cards to send as well. There's the rex. 
Uh, on the other hand, most players prefer to age with a big shrine still, even though if there's a rush coming in, you can make some walls, defend with Yumis, etc. And usually that's still okay to hold. Uh, the samurai here is gonna get his fun with the scout and with the hero. Bad of Tibia here to lose his scout. I'm not sure why he did that. Uh, you should always, uh, like you saw me doing previously versus Gondad, save your scout anytime possible and put it in uh, stealth mode so you have a uh, line of uh, sight elsewhere on the map. Anyway, oh, I was zoomed in, sorry for that. We see the two wrecks coming in. Uh, villagers on wood, nothing on gold, so that is indeed an Expo Pike rush coming in. Uh, he could have put his wrecks over here to be faster, but uh, he chose uh, this location instead. Expo Pike, you don't think it will be... Ah, yes, it is Expo Pike, because he's gathering wood, right. Yes. Uh, I'm not sure why he's going so far out with the samurai. He should definitely try to save it. He's not going to get much done anyway. I mean, he can attack the villager, but of course he's not going to get it. He should not get it, at least. I didn't like Expo Pike too much in TAD, and that's because uh, the Expos are not too good against the Cav here, and the Japanese Cav are very, very strong. Yeah, but on the other hand, uh, if your Japanese is starting with his table, you can easily start with Pikemen, and uh, he will start a Rex, and the thing is just, you can get a lot of units out very fast, very cheap. That's why an Expo Pike Rush might work as a Rush versus Japanese. It's one of, one of the best options to do versus them, in fact. Looks like he's going to lose that villager there, yeah. Yeah, and same, French is going to lose a villager, and the uh, Japanese is going to lose two villagers. Nice micro of Tibia to split his fire, and not to uh, waste fire by shooting all his crossbowmen on the one village that was already on low HP. Uh, interesting to see kind of, uh, not a base trade, but uh, kind of uh, armies in both bases. Uh, of course, the French guy here is still gathering, while the Japanese guy was uh, hidden in his town center for a little bit longer. Yeah, and notice Tibia is sending the pike in the forward and the crossbow in, uh, in behind. Yes, very good job here. Uh, you don't need pikemen to counter musketeers, so you can use the crossbowmen and uh, instead siege with the pikemen. He is going to get this Rex, I think. Yes, he's definitely going to get it. He's just going to trade some units for it. I think that's uh, worth it because uh, it, uh, very, uh, it slows down a lot, the spam of the French guy. He, in fact, got it right before the other crossbowmen popped out. Uh, you saw five crossbowmen popping out over here. There would have been five crossbowmen over there as well. Uh, this is some standard uh, micro, you try to use the range of your crossbowmen uh, because if you are in range of the musketeers, the musketeers will still do decent damage so you want to use your range and uh, not get damage while you deal damage to them uh, He's also going to lose his rex, not going to be another 5 musketeers popping out, this is very uh, very weird to me uh, On the other hand, he did slow down the rush a lot by killing one rex so if he would now just make some yumis, uh, he would probably be pretty okay to hold it I'm surprised how well crossbow do versus uh, the Ashiguru, versus heavy infantry in general. Yeah, but they didn't, still have multiplier, of course. They uh, they do 16 times 1.3, so not that bad. The 1.3 is not existent in Nilla, so I guess. Yeah, um, but that's because their base damage in Nilla is higher, I believe. That's also no, why they do so good for recovery. Base damage is the same. You sure? Yes. But I've heard that okay. uh, the multiplier is actually there, but it's not shown on the stats, but I don't think that's the case. I'm not I sure think, about uh, that. Oh, are better against heavy infantry, but weaker versus calves. Yeah, but they the got the 0.8 bonus or damage, actually a negative bonus for his cavalry, because otherwise too many uh, light infantry would just own cavalry. So they changed uh, that for TAD. What we see here is that the Japanese has to wait for some uh, Yumi to pop out. Or perhaps uh, his uh, Damyo, that is the, the big uh, hero from Japanese guys. He's cavalry and he can also make units. Tibia shipped three Hussars, I believe, yes. Uh, to put on some more pressure. Uh, all the time he's trying, of course, to siege with his pikemen while uh, kind of shielding off the Ashigarus to get to his pikemen by using his crossbowmen. I personally don't think he needed three Hussar here. He could have sent uh, a resource shipment instead. You don't need Hussars versus uh, pure Ashiguro here. Yeah, that's the thing. You don't need it versus pure Ashiguro, but I think he was expecting Barker to make Yumis and probably want to try to uh, to push into that with his Hussars. Kind of an right. anticipation move. I much would have preferred a resource shipment, but... Uh, well, keep in mind that he still has only one Rex, so I think he can uh, make... Five, five. Well, okay, anyway, I see, I see what you're going. Where are you going? 
Uh, what we see here is that a fight actually that uh, finally Minutemen popping out. Then TBS is gonna back off. He loses his cavalry. Uh, he shoot yeah, away he with called it. Uh, the Minutemen. Yeah, right. So he's gonna back up now. Although Tibi is ahead of, in, in score, I'm not sure what that means. Perhaps the economy. For the Japanese, it doesn't mean that much in this stage, to be honest. Uh, I was still Looks seeing... Looks like... Yeah? They both have a pretty good uh, the loss ratio. In terms of units lost. Yeah, okay, but keep in mind, every Ashiguro lost is worth more than a crossbow man lost, so... The resource lost by Japanese is more. Um, TBI just now uh, keeping his pikemen in the back as well as you saw uh, earlier trying to just get off some shots with his crossbowmen but of course he has to be very careful because he might expect some cavalry coming in and as we see also that Barker has added a stable so he will now probably go for the main composition of uh, Ashigaru and cavalry of course he can still make more Yumi's but he doesn't know that TBI added a stable he will know now after he sees his cavalry as soon as he knows, he will probably go for Ashigaru uh, and uh, Nag Nag Naginata, because it is a safer composition to defend. It, Tibi is very smart here. He went in there, popped off a villager, came back, yes. pop. Tibia has always very good micro. That's always uh, yeah. nice to see. There you see five Naginatas popping out, so he has to be very careful. But you see here, Barker, if he can be in range, he can still get off good damage. Um, that's what he's trying to do, but now he's losing too many units, in my opinion. Too much HP. Should be very careful here. Another musketeer going down. Yeah, he needs to shoot the one HP units off. Yeah, that's the main, main low HP. Yep. And now he sees the Naginatas, and soon he will. Uh, Barker will also see the Hussars. And now it's gonna be uh, interesting what's gonna happen because the Expo Pike Rush kind of failed. Usually it does more damage than it did now. Uh, that was also because, of course, uh, one Rex was Well, I thought it was it did pretty decent, to be honest with you. I mean, he did kill uh, quite a few villagers there. If you yeah, look at the villager count. It, it did decent, but it should do more damage, in my opinion, than it did. Because the Japanese is not... The French is not enough ahead. He should usually be more ahead with the crossbow man parkers like this. And if he's going to be a second age too long, then uh, Mass Ashigaru with some cavalry is just going to beat the French guy. So he has to age up at some point. And that's going to be interesting uh, to see what he's going to do when he's going to age up. But at the same time, Tibi did put a, a good pressure. I mean, if you look at the, the shrine placement, um, the Japanese hasn't really been investing in economy uh, too much, I don't think. Yeah, that is true. I, I mean, at the same time, he aged out with Tori Gates. And uh, he only he only got one shrine there gathering. Um, well, gathering food one mistake there for Japanese is that he should have his hero on the outside, not per se one, uh, both, but at least one, so that he can g uh, make the shrines where there's food. He now makes two shrines, four, five, six. Actually, that's the problem. He makes too many shrines in his base, and there are no animals there. That means your income will greatly uh, will be a lot less than if you would place your shrines over here where there's food around. It's not even that far, so that's definitely a big mistake by a Japanese player. Here. Otherwise, he would have a much better income and just more units. We see that the eight crossbow men are now popping out from his consulate. He had to get enough uh, export by now to use that shipment. And he should use Town Center Fire on the Hussars, in fact. Especially because he has only uh, ranged light infantry left. He's using some villages now to absorb some fire. I would rather have. Uh, it's, it's not a French villager, so I would rather have some in the Town Center. Keep in mind that he used it minimum already. And the Ashigaros that just popped out should be focused firing uh, the Hussars here. They're not doing that at the moment. Yeah, Barker is in deep trouble here. Yes, not upgrading villager HP, that means villagers are going down faster as well. Uh, because Tibia now did quite a lot of damage, killing a lot of his army and villagers again, he might be able to stay in the second age a little bit longer, as you see over here, from 29 to 23 villagers. But still, um, if those five shrines, six now even, would have been placed on the map, it would have been so much more economy for a Japanese player. Correct, especially since he aged out with uh, the gates, yes. Tori gates. We see also that not only are the uh, shrines not placed over here, they're also not uh, placed near the Hunts of Tibia, which is what the most Japanese players do, because then you benefit from the animals, but you also prevent your opponent from getting gathering from his animals. That means he has to kill the shrines first, 
and that means that you can uh, see your or something because he's out of position. Still, he's pushing out a little bit. Of course, Yumi and these crossbowmen from the consulate are quite strong, stronger than the crossbowmen from the French guy. He should seize his Rex, in my opinion, but uh, trying to go for something else instead. As long as he micros good. decently, he's not going to lose that much. Yeah, pretty good job there by Tibia. Microed his villages properly, only lost one. Yes. The Expo Pike uh, micro is also very nice. Yes, very nice to see here. Uh, both players going back, I think that's uh, that's a good choice, uh, mainly because there were too many uh, pikemen for Naginata to deal with. He needed a lot, uh, needed more infantry to deal with the pikemen. Few hussars popping out, and that means actually TBI should be able to win this battle here if they would commit to it. Let's see if he puts his uh, Ashigaru melee mode or at least targets the cavalry again. Should be using town center fire here. Some villages are going to be popped in now. This is a very defensive position, very nice. The cavalry cannot easily engage these units over here. Uh, and he has a very uh, good defensive position. Should be careful with the Naginata, as you see, they are actually wasted here versus the pikemen and the cavalry of the other guy. He should be pulling them back while his infantry is dealing with this yeah, unit first. It's, it's looking pretty clear here that Japanese can't keep up. Um, Tough decision, decision. I mean, he does have three other cav coming down, but yeah, but that's what I mean. Keep in mind, then, if if those shrines would have been on on the right hunts, for example, if you take a look at the shrine over here, it has four animals. Just to show you, that's zero point forty two seconds uh, gold per second. This shrine has nothing. It's zero point one. That's one fourth, even less, a little bit less. So that matters a lot in long run. For every second, you have one fourth less income. And all he needs to do is just use one of his heroes to walk around the map and put his shrines over there. That you want to use one hero in battle as a meat shield is understandable. And this hero is called Miso Horny, so of course you want to use him in battle. Oh, the other one as well. <laughs> but anyway, uh, it's a major, major mistake to not make the shrines, especially if you look at this part. It's so close anyway. Why not just build it over there? Right choice of TBI to age up. We saw less military units coming out, so that uh, was likely to happen. And now there's going to be skirmishes on the map, uh, cannons coming out, so this is a very hard spot for Barker to uh, to get something done. Just take, uh, like, take a quick look at his deck. If he has 600 coin, he might be able to age up himself. Just putting every villager on food, shrines on food, use the coin, age up. Uh, then he can still uh, probably deal with it because he can use his own cannons uh, while raiding yeah. a little bit as you see now but of course Japanese age slower so the pressure will be coming in earlier from the Tibia. Barker is going to be in trouble if Tibia pops out those cannons. He's going to be trapped there. Yes. True. There he goes. That's a good game. Okay, good game. Yeah, he couldn't keep up in economy. Um, wasn't able to get any control of the map with the shrines. Especially since um, he needs a spike because uh, he was making a lot of calves, so can't go around the map sieging like that because uh, you always need the pike with the the crossbow. Okay, so um, very good micro by Tibia, as as expected. Uh, what uh, what Chicks also mentioned, uh, picking off units here and there, villagers, uh, HP from the Ashigaru with the Cosmo range. That's exactly what you have to do for the Japanese. 
keep on the pressure. And I'm not sure what Barkham meant. I think that he knows he can make shrines with his hero, so maybe he means like I was pressured, I just needed to make a shrine quickly, so I used my villages uh, near my town center. But I think it's clear by now that what he should have done is making shrines all over the map. And not only do you uh, get more economy, that way you will also, if he goes for your shrines, spread him out across the map and thus have a better option to push on, uh, on him. So, 